Freepik just dropped one of the best, most impressive, and most helpful updates. Well, every update seems like the best. True, but this one takes character consistency to a whole new and way better level. You can now start creating with Ideogram character in the Freepik suite. Instant character consistency with just one single image. One image will do the whole trick. Wow, Freepik just keeps dropping awesome updates so fast. And on top of that, you could also perform an instant face swap easier than ever before with just a simple brush stroke and a click of a button. And if you don't have a free pick subscription yet, I highly recommend it. There's a link in my description to get a huge discount. Once clicked, it will take you to this page right here and just look at this incredible value that you're going to get. 40% off build annually equates $17 a month for everything included in the free pick AI suite. You get 540,000 AI credits. Okay, so here we are over here in the AI suite. Now, the first thing you want to do is simply select image generator. Go to the usual image generating page. Now, the first thing we need to do over here in image generator is this. Down here below, all you need to do is select this character button. Select that plus button. This is going to populate right here. Now, in the past, the only options we had was this page, training Allura. But now we're going to have what is called image reference. This is the new ideogram update with just a single image. We'll give you consistent character characters over and over again. Now, all you have to do, just come up with a simple name. Let's go ahead and just type something in. Now, we're going to go ahead and select our gender, available models where we can use this with, ideogram, runway, flux context, and GPT. Now, this is all we have to do. Select any option you want, click and drag and drop it right here. And just like that, you have your new custom character. So in order to do this, let's head over into my prompts portals. Now, since I already have a few in free pick, I really wanna find one that looks completely different from a lot of the ones I've been using. Hey guys, if you want the most amazing prompts databases, click the links in the description. Let me go ahead and download this one right here. We're gonna create a character of her. And I also wanna do a second one just to see how good of a job this actually does. I'll also generate one of this woman right over here. So then I'll download both of these images. So I'll have two going and see how good of a job they both do. Now back over here at Free Pick, all we have to do is simply click and drag and drop those images we just downloaded right over here into this square. So just like that, there is gonna be that first one. Let's go ahead and create her with just one simple click of a button. We're gonna do it one more time, but this time with our other character. Hit this plus button again for a new character. And now this time, let's do the same thing. Thing, give her a completely different name. Now we're going to click and drag and drop her right there as well. And now two created characters at the same time. And we're really going to give this a real test. Now, here's what you want to make sure you have done the right way. With my prompt pasted in, we now need to make sure that our character is selected. So scroll down and now you see character again, hit this arrow. And now look, here are all of my characters. And now here are the two new ones we just did. There is Bella. Let's now select her. Make sure she is tagged over on the left-hand side, which she is. Now let us go ahead and change our aspect ratio to a little bit of a wider angle and now all you have to do is generate that six images going at the same time now while these are thinking you could see it does move pretty quickly but look the ideogram ones are already done over here on the right hand side and look it did such a great job creating her now again now look how good of a job flux did now this is incredible there she is now let's take things up a notch and try a, another prompt but this time with that second model we created and let's go ahead with this selfie mode one right here so I'll copy this one. We're going to come back over in the free pick and now paste this one in, but she's not going to have blonde hair. So we're just going to go ahead and remove blonde hair. And now we're just going to say fitness model, just like that. Very simple prompt, but this time we're going to make sure we tag our new character. And that's going to be this one right here, which we named Rain. And now there she is. She's tagged. We're going to do one in Ideogram. And let's also do one in Flux Context Max again. And then that way we can compare both versions. So we're going to generate multiple ones. Now look at these. Already these that have been generated, look how great of a job this did. This is exactly 
the way she looks. Look at this. And now even this one right here using flux context high. So we get multiple images, seven in total, once this one is done being generated, the GPT one, but nonetheless, seven images with just one simple image reference. And as a quick comparison, look, there is that one I uploaded. And now look at the ones on the right, especially the images where she is wearing that red top. It is a definite lookalike of her. So the realism will also be determined based on the model you use as well. GPT didn't approve it, NSFW, so go ahead and delete it. But for the most part, Flux, amazing job, and Ideogram, pretty good job. So now remember how earlier I said you can do a simple and easy face swap? Now let me show you exactly how to do that. So what we're now gonna do is go down to any image. So let's say for an example, I want to use this image, but I wanna put Bella's face on hers, very easy. Down in the bottom right hand corner, go ahead and select edit image. This is gonna populate like this. Here is the easiest way to make this happen. Now what we wanna do is select this retouch button. Go ahead and click that and what we wanna do is completely just hover over her face and even her hair, okay? We're gonna do a complete redo makeover and replace her face with one of our new models. With that being the case, now down here at the very bottom, select this use character icon like this. You're gonna get two options. We're gonna go ahead and select image reference. Once you click image reference, it automatically populates those four characters or the two that we just created in addition to my two earlier ones. Now we can select the one we wanna do a quick face swap with. Let's go ahead and use Rain since she is selected. Now, since she is there, she is now down here at the very bottom. And now we're going to go ahead and say face swap, just like that. And now all we have to do is simply submit this. And now like that, we're going to wait a few minutes and see how good of a job it actually does. It does move relatively quick, so no reason to come back. It's already done. Now we're just waiting for it to reappear. And now look at that. Wow. Just like that completely swapped the face. Now, look at this. It says, not happy with the results. Try context. Okay, so let's say for an example, it's good, but let's see if we can make it better. Go ahead and now click try context. Just by that one simple click, look, it's already regenerating down here below and it's already done. Let's wait for this one to reappear now. So now we're gonna get two images right away, a simple face swap, easier than I've ever used before in any other tool. Look at that amazing job with that face swap. I like it, hit done, download it. Now you're ready to go. Export up in the top right, just like that two images with a simple face swap. So there you have it. One of the most helpful and best updates to date in free pick. They seem to just keep getting better and better. Remember, links are in the description. I highly recommend subscribing to free pick because these updates don't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. And if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time.